This morning on In the Roadshow Kitchen, we are thrilled to welcome back one of our favorites. He's fast becoming one of them, Chef Roscoe Gay. <laughs> Everyone's chef is who he is. Good morning, sir, and Good welcome morning. back. Good morning. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Great to see you. Th this morning, on the heels of another football Sunday, you will be making some tailgating favorites, correct? Absolutely. Listen to this lineup, if you will. <laughs> Twin lobster rolls and wings. What's better than that? Take us through the ingredients, my friend. Yes, I have about a half pound of lobster. I like to use the claws as well as the knuckles, not really the lobster tail. And I do have um, some party wings and just all my different dry ingredients there. Um, and some things I wish we could kind of say is kind of like a secret, but not really, I guess. Um, just things that I like to use in order to season up my food. And I'm excited about pulling this all together. I need a little seasoning in my life. So this is perfect, Russ. <laughs> <laughs> But let's talk about how this really, you know, is endlessly appealing to anyone looking to tailgate. Maybe you've never kind of used lobster within your tailgate party. Great way to change things Absolutely. up. Absolutely. And it's really simple. It's really easy. You can even go to your local supermarket. Sometimes I already have the lobster already done. So you don't have to worry about boiling or steaming and then breaking open the shells. Um, and the ingredients are just very simple. A little salt, pepper, lemon zest, lemon juice. Mix it all up really good. Not too much mayo because you don't want it to be all wet. Right. Um, toast, up those, toast up those rolls. Anybody can, can do it as well as frying Even up the Even a guy too. like me, you're saying, Roscoe, might be able to handle this? Of course this. a guy like you can handle this, man. <laughs> There's very little I actually can handle in life, so I like the sound of that, but for you as everyone's chef, let's talk about kind of what it is you do and what you really bring to people when you kind of work with them or for them. So when I work with them, people bring me in a lot of times as a private chef. Sometimes I do a little bit of catering, but that's more so for friends and family, but I bring the restaurant to them, especially with COVID and all these other things that are happening in the world. Um, some people don't want to go out right so I was like I let them know I can bring what you need right to the comfort of your own your own home and you don't have to worry about anything which is great it's something I like to say here whenever the chefs are in the roadshow kitchen you can kind of simplify this right here for us this morning if someone has not attempted Correct. lobster before in their yep. own kitchen you can kind of take absolutely. us through the steps later on absolutely well it's great to have you back we couldn't be happier to have you joining us right here this is the man chef Roscoe Gay he is everyone's chef we will learn even more about what it is he does what's better than these tailgating food options absolutely. you don't want to miss the preparation stick with us back to you hello uh, chef roscoe's here we've got some twin lobster rolls and wings on the menu for your next uh, football game that you can put to uh put together roscoe does a lot of private chef events yes. if you have a, if you have a, a group together and you don't feel like cooking roscoe will come over and put everything together for you yeah. and, and make it nice absolutely make that's it nice. the biggest thing it has to be nice and it has to taste great yes and so whenever my clients they contact me i let them know like everything is like i don't i want you to enjoy the night right just like you would it going to a, a, a restaurant but in the comfort of of your home so is that asking you before so how you know, small how big of, of a group do you will you uh, oversee and, and do as, so far, as far as cooking done as small as just a couple which is okay. the most common and then as big as you would like it to as okay. big as you like it to be so right. whatever is um, accommodating for, for 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 you I'm willing to accommodate that got it yeah. okay all right so tell us what we have here and then I know you had some wings over there that you were putting in and how someone should go about it because look I want to make wings at home but I'm always like ah, well I, you know I got to break out the oil and that's, <laughs> but it's really Easy. It's very, very, very easy. Um, so, I, of course, I was thinking about the end of the, the end of the summer football, just the Pats one. Um, so, definitely my southern fried fried wings. Um, get your oil up to about 350. Got it. And I'm I actually shallow fried these, so I didn't deep fry them. Deep frying is probably the easiest way, um, in my opinion. And the way I test the grease is a little bit of flour. So once it it, it disperses throw those wings in there. Oh, really? And as okay. soon as they start to get golden brown, you flip them over in probably like another five minutes or so, and they are they are nice and done. They're done. Okay. And like the way I like to get them nice, nice and crispy is after you dredge it, let that flour sit on there a little bit because you want it to soak up some of that moisture and build the gluten up. Got it. So I, as soon as I have it and it's a little, a little, it's not as dry from the um, flour, yep. that's when I throw it in there. So it gives it a nice crunch after okay. it is done. Now as far as like the, the flour that you're mm -hmm. using, is there a s certain flour type that, that works purpose, better? All-purpose all purpose flour is cool. Yeah. Okay. All-purpose flour is great. All right, good. And then can you, you can season, put seasoning in the flour? You, I season, whatever I season my chicken with, I season the flour with too. So, uh, so that it kind of blends all together all and it's, together. it's all encompassing. Yes, right. okay. yes, you want flavor in every bite. Got it. Okay. And then we got the lobster here as well. Absolutely. So you can't go wrong with a lobster. I think it's a New England. It's a New England thing. The summer's almost over. I think I get one at the beginning and then one towards towards the end. Sure. And it's a really easy, simple thing. Kind of reminds me of steak a little bit. If you do too much, it'll kill it. Got it. So less is more. So just a little bit of mayo, some salt, pepper, a little bit of garlic, some um, celery. 
toss it up with some lemon juice, some lemon zest, excellent. Look, and then you go someplace and people will say it's all about the roll too. Oh, yes. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. You gotta have your butter toasted rolls. Mm -hmm. You have to have it. Yeah. So what are some of the things on your list? Like if somebody is watching today and they're mm -hmm. like, look, I want to have a, a private chef come out, come out, I want a party, uh, I want someone to put something together for me. What do you specialize in? Or you you do it all? So I like to do it all, but my clients, they love surf and turf. That is probably my number really? one go to. They want lobster and ribeye. Okay. <laughs> and then you you can pair it off whatever side you want. The most common are asparagus and um, garlic mashed potatoes. So a nice hearty a nice hearty meal, and as well as sometimes I have apps, so bacon wrap scallops, mini beef Wellingtons, bacon wrap prosciutto, right. I, I, all that, all that is can be included, or whatever right. you want. And then I love, I even added the charcuterie board, so as I'm getting everything going, they have something to graze on as everything okay. is being pulled together. Well, and it does, it makes so, things so much easier, that way you can actually sit down with the people Correct. who are around you, who you were invited, and actually enjoy the time that you've Absolutely. spent together. Yeah. Absolutely. Do you have more wings in there too? I do have a couple more wings we'll inside we'll toss, here. We'll, toss these, we'll put these, throw those on top there too. Sure. Now, you know, what? The, when you're going to get wings, I mean, is there something people should be looking for? Because people, for a while, people were having a hard time even just finding chicken wings. Let's, well, I guess you can go to your local butcher or your local grocery store. I think it depends on the time of year. Right, yeah, <laughs> Let yeah, you sure. Know yeah. How much is there? Actually, I was surprised when I went to the grocery store today, just this pack of wings was $5. Right. Okay. And wings have been so expensive. expensive too. So it's kind of like a hit and miss. It just depends on where, you, on where you are and where you will go. I'd always recommend go to your local butcher shop because yeah. they have all the. They have everything. They have everything. Somebody wants to get a hold of you and they're having a party. Yes. Hit me up on my social medias, which is Everyone Chef, E V E R Y, the number one S Chef. That is on Instagram and that is on Facebook as well as my website www.everyonechef.org and you make great cakes too and I do cake yes he does <laughs> yes he does point that out because they are always delicious alright if you would like more information about this and the recipe for this you can head on over to our website roadshow.com